morning and welcome. It is February 12th. It is Monday morning. It's about 8.15 a.m. I have been up since like four <laughs> getting various things done. So I'm feeling semi-productive today. I have a couple of quick uh, videos that I wanted to to film. This is going to be a, a little haul. I have um, an item from Etsy that I wanted to show off that I'm super happy with. Uh, which is a Valentine's gift for my daughter. And I have uh, the c consumer crafts stuff to show off. I mentioned last week that even though I'm on a bit of a spreading freeze, I had to place an order from consumer crafts anyway because I get all of my envelopes for my cards there. <clears throat> and I was just about out. And it's also where I get my, my Zig Glues because they have the best price and I was running a bit low on those. So I had to place an order. And you know me, I don't like to place an order unless I can get free shipping, so I usually check out the clearance sections until I get enough stuff to hit free shipping, and I had just barely hit the, the free shipping amount, so I have a couple of goodies to show off as well. But first, let's talk about this from um, Etsy. <clears throat> of course, Etsy has tens of thousands of sellers. This one comes from a shop called Muddy Road Couture, and I'll link it down below. Um, this is, uh, the, the the woman that runs the shop is very lovely, and I've gotten to know her a little bit better over the past couple of months because um, we've been interacting a lot on our Etsy-related Facebook group, and also we're working on um, an Instagram promotion thing this month together. So she put this on her Instagram page and linked it for me to interact with as, as part of um, as part of the group uh, activity that we do. And I just absolutely fell in love with it and I thought of my daughter immediately for her Valentine's basket. We don't do a lot of candy in this house. Uh, we don't do a lot of sugary junk, so on and so forth. So for Valentine's Day, I usually do a card for her and maybe like a small, one of those very small little boxes, you know, with just like the the two or three pieces of chocolate in it and usually a small little stuffed animal so when I saw this I immediately thought of her and I freaked out so here we go this is handmade from Muddy Road Couture and I'll link her shop down below I had to wait till my daughter went off to school this morning to film this look at this guys it is a teeny tiny little pink narwhal stuffy is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen? Now she has a variety of colors. Let me see if I can, I should have, I should have planned this a little bit better. Sorry. <laughs> I was just so excited to film. I didn't even bring it up. She has a variety of colors available. Um, let me see. That's not remotely helpful. Sorry. Here we go. Baby Narwhal is what she calls it. She has, this is the pink. She has blue, gray, green, orange, the pink, purple, rainbow, red, and white. <clears throat> this little guy was only $10 for a little handmade stuffy, so a really good price. Um, and my daughter loves kind of ocean-themed things. Uh, he or she, uh, my daughter, will assign a gender. Um, seems to be really well made and really soft. And this is just, it's just the cutest darn little thing. I'm just... It's so adorable. So I will link her shop down below. J definitely check it out. Again, it's only $10 for a little handmade stuffy. She does offer a larger version of this, uh, which I didn't in I didn't obviously invest in because I just wanted a little something uh, for Valentine's Day. We don't really do a heck of a lot of occasional things in our house, but um, there are so many different kind of cute stuffies. There's a larger version of the Narwhal, which is $20. Um, there's a couple of dresses for your little ones on there. Unicorns, mermaids, uh, really cute, really cute shop. So definitely check that out if you have a chance. Um, it is run by a woman named Amanda. She's lovely. I've gotten to know her a little bit better recently. I'm really happy with this purchase. I'm going to tuck this little guy back away and we won't see him again until Wednesday morning. <clears throat> Quickly put that back in the box and I'll make it look like it's a... Uh, something boring over here so my daughter won't be curious and touch the box okay so the next thing we have um, this box of stuff from consumer crafts let me swing it over here to make it a little bit easier to grab stuff out of 
my my pack list, which unfortunately doesn't have any uh, pricing on it. <clears throat> and again, this is my very poor planning. I should have actually brought this up before I started filming so that I wouldn't take your time. Um, just blabbering on. <laughs> Order history. My internet seems to be doing a little bit better this morning than it was last night. My husband and I were trying to stream something last night and we could not. We just could not do it. It was not working. So I've got a whole bunch of packing material and unfortunately I just have so much of it that I can't conceivably reuse. Oh, maybe my internet is not working. I'm getting a timed out request. Here we go. <clears throat> so the first thing that I got, and I actually already took it out of the box and got it aside from clearance, is I grabbed another storage box, just a photo storage box. These have, I've been using to sort different supplies into, so I've been picking up these little storage boxes here and there, and I'll get my supplies organized into them as we go. That's just another one to go with it. Um, from the clearance, I grabbed these uh, fusible card kits. These we are memory keeper. There were two of them uh, in the clearance section. These were, oh, that's right. Okay. So these were on clearance. So these were $7 and 50 cents each. I did just recently, if you've watched my other hauls, I did just recently acquire the fuse tool, which I've never used before. And I kind of wanted some ideas on what I could use them with. And then these popped up. I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot because I'm going to need the practice to use it. And then also from the clearance, I grabbed the little fuse tool tip assortment, which was $5.50. I'm sorry, it was $6.97 regular price, but I had a 20% off coupon. So that made it $5.58. The coupon did not, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. The coupon did not apply to clearance items though. So these were clearance. This I got a discount on. So it was $5.58. Um, not a project for today uh, and definitely not something that I needed but again I was kind of scouring the clearance section for like a little bit more uh, stuff to to hit the free shipping threshold so I'll set those aside and we'll work on those once once I'm done with some of my other projects uh, let's see I just got some uh, felt stickers Easter felt stickers just for my daughter's crafts these were uh, on clearance for 75 cents They're really cute too. They're felt and they've got little pom poms on the butts. <clears throat> Super cute. I've got a glue pen, which I thought I got two of these, but it looks like I did not, which was really dumb of me. I usually buy more than one at a time. Um, this was two dollars and seventeen cents, but with my coupon, it was a dollar seventy-four. From the clearance, these uh, Jerry's uh, metal snowflake brads. For next Christmas. Uh, these were 75 cents. <clears throat> One of the big reasons why I placed the order, uh, just a bunch of my A2 size white envelopes. This is the place that I normally get them because they have the best price. These were, let's see, they were a $1.27 each. I got seven of them and the total after my 20% off coupon was $7.11. So awesome deal, an awesome place to get these envelopes. I really like these envelopes in particular as well. Okay, so moving on, also some goodies here. Um, I grabbed a pack of the Studio 71 alcohol markers. I saw... Um, Lindsay the Frugal Crafter do a review on these when they came out a while back and I really kind of wanted to give them a try uh, but I didn't want to invest because I have all the Spectre Noirs I didn't really want to invest in a whole other line so I was originally going to just add a couple of the markers to my cart to hit the free shipping but then it occurred to me with the coupon uh, these are $7.97 regular price and with the 20% coupon they were $6.38. I could get the whole six pack for pretty much the same price as what I was doing. Um, the spec in the, within the Spectrum Noir uh, selection, I have the most difficult time with the blues and the reds um, in terms of the Spectrum Noir colors. So I figured I would give uh, one, or the, one or the other a shot to sort of help 
um, round out my blue and red selection. The reds were out of stock, so I figured, hey, there we go, it's the blue. So I will give these a try. I've never used them before. Um, they're alcohol-based markers, so they should work uh, f with my Spectre Noir without issue. Um, so I'm really excited to give that a try. And along that same vein, just because I had never tried one before, <clears throat> also because I the coupon worked and I needed just a little bit more, um, I've got my first Copic marker. <laughs> uh, they only sell the black individually. It's $5.97 and with the coupon it was $4.78. I needed a black marker that wasn't my Spectrum Noir um, because all of my black Sharpies are dead and I needed something to color the outside of my die cuts when I fussy cut them. I This is the first time I've actually opened the marker and it's kind of leaky a little bit. So I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not. But So I figured I'd give it a shot and everybody always talks about how wonderful the Copics are and it's like, oh, you know what? I just, look at that. It's all inky already. I just needed the black. So I'll give the black a try and see what everybody's talking about in terms of how it colors and whatnot. I always see them, they, they usually have a display in my Michaels and Joann's anyway near the cash registers of just open stock Copic markers and sometimes you know you go in there and you don't really have anything that you need. You know they don't, they rarely get anything new or exciting but you still have that 50 or 60 percent off coupon. It's like well you know why not just buy a Copic marker that you might need at a time at 50 or 60 percent off and kind of work on your collection from there. Um, I can kind of fill in, you know, if I like it, try to fill in some of the blues and the reds and maybe some other colors that I might find. Um, I will enjoy it. We're almost down at the end here. I didn't, I didn't get much again. I think it's like $49 is the limit for, uh, or the, 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 uh, the cap for free shipping. And I think I spent $49 and 62 cents. Um, I grabbed a bone folder. Uh, nothing exciting. This was very inexpensive. It was three thirty-seven, so it was two dollars and seventy cents. Just something a little bit bigger uh, than the the bone folder that I currently have. I don't know if I have it right here to grab. I just have the small bone folder. <clears throat> Excuse me, that came with my score tool. Um, I was just looking for something a little bit bigger to hold on to and inexpensive. And I'm definitely not all about spending the. 25 something dollars for the Teflon bone folder <laughs> recommended by our favorite uh, card makers on YouTube. Um, this one will probably, you know, mark the paper, but I don't care. Again, I'm just looking for something a little bit bigger. Uh, and the last thing is just a couple of packages of double sided tape. This is the Jerese scrap baking tape. I've used this before. It's not great. It's not great, but it it's really inexpensive and I'm running kind of low. Um, let me see how much these were. These were 97 cents each and I got them for 20% off. So all three of them were $2 and 33 cents. I'm running kind of low on, um, my quarter inch score tape <clears throat> and I don't really have, what I would really like to do is place a nice big, um, Hallmark scrapbook order because that's where I get my, uh, score tape from but I really I need to hold off <laughs> I, I'm still working on paying off my propane and my electric so once those are taken care of I will I will place a Hallmark scrapbook order and get the tape that I really would prefer but in the meanwhile I was on consumer crafts I had to place an order anyway I just grabbed a couple just in case I run out of score tape it works just fine there's nothing wrong with the adhesiveness of, of this tape it's just um it doesn't rip as easy uh, it's not as easy to use, but the, uh, the adhesive is just fine. So I've, I've used it before. <clears throat> I was, I knew what I was getting into when I was purchasing it. But anyway, that is what I have for, um, Etsy and Consumer Crafts Little Hauls. I have my coffee here. I am going to film, um, I don't know when I'm going to upload it, but I am going to film a quick unboxing of the February Hero Arts Kit, which arrived yesterday, Sunday. Again, I'm getting mail delivery on Monday. I don't know. They're also bringing me bills and unsolicited credit offers, so hey. <laughs> um, I actually have quite a bit of things to do today. My to-do list is pretty chock full with things that I need to do. Last night I stayed up late. Um, I stamped out a ton of images to color and to watercolor. Um, I have my daughter's Valentine's to make, her work on her thank you cards. I'm working on a project for Instagram for my Etsy face Facebook group. Um, I'm working on a pocket letter for a friend and I have to start designing another pocket letter for a pen pal that just uh, 
indicated some interest in making pocket letters and I have you know scrapbook stuff to work on and just uh, crazy crazy <laughs> I think my next order um, I, I am I am I did just use my last ink cartridge for my printer um, and I'm pretty low on my last uh, cartridge for my label maker so I will have to do a staples order um, this weekend maybe I'll see if I can push it another week but um so that's probably going to be the next thing that I'm going to buy is my my basic essentials at Staples uh to hit the free shipping thrust mark I'll probably buy another package of 110 pound white cardstock that I used for my coloring and my card bases from Staples so um that'll probably be my next one <laughs> and then hopefully a little bit later in this month maybe by the week after that I will have knock on wood I will have the propane and the electric under control and uh, start being able to <laughs> resume life as normal. <clears throat> anyway, that is what I have. Um, tomorrow I'm taking the day off because my husband is taking the day off. We're doing Valentine's Day early because that is the only day he can get off. We're going to have fun. Um, I originally wanted to go to the movies, but I don't think budget-wise that's going to work out. Uh, but we will probably, we have a, a gift card that we got for Christmas. We'll probably have a nice dinner um, and maybe at least just spend some time <laughs> alone and away from our child, which has not happened in years. I have a friend that has graciously agreed to babysit. So, so that is what's going on. I will see you again in uh, the next the next video, but um, I do wish you a really great day and a happy Valentine's Day if I don't see you. Take care. Bye-bye.